All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at a function and a new tool that came out from Mac called Drone Z Break. Uh, the tool itself has some uh, other cool features, but we're going to look at rolling back firmware on Mac for uh, the Mavic Inspire 2, P4, and Spark. You're going to need to download Drone Z Break and the firmware of your choice from GitHub. Uh, there'll have to be some links in the download con uh, in the comments for the download. And also make sure you have the DJI Assistant 2 installed. So uh, after you have all that good to go, connect your aircraft to the computer, open up this app called Drone Z Break. It'll ask if you want to open up Assistant. Go ahead and click Yes. Should auto uh, load up Assistant. Uh, this is the, the whole tool. I'll do another video kind of overviewing the whole tool, but we're just going to focus on firmware for right now. So once it opens up Assistant, it'll connect to your aircraft. You don't have to open that up. Just go ahead and minimize the screen. Uh, you'll see here that it'll have a status indicator. It'll kind of load up the information. Uh, once it's good to go, it'll say refresh, or uh, uh, it'll have a, a green that says ready. Uh, you'll see on the bottom right corner, there's a button for firmware flash utility. We're gonna go ahead and hit that button, and this brings up the firmware screen. This tells us we need to close Assistant. So go ahead and go back to Assistant app, uh, hit that X up there, quit out, and then go back to the firmware flash utility. Uh, down below, you'll see here there's a load firmware file kind of button. Go ahead and choose that, navigate to the firmware file of your choice. Again, you can download that uh, from GitHub. Uh, down below, go ahead and click aircraft, and then hit the flash firmware button. Uh, go ahead and read the disclaimer here. Uh, you just want to make sure that uh, you've got a fully charged battery, that you know what you're doing, uh, that you inherit the risk here. Uh, I haven't seen any issues, but uh, again, it, it could cause some risk. So the, uh, the first step here, it'll actually uh, copy the, the file over to your device. Uh, that file is about 100 megabytes in size. It can go rather quick. I went ahead and sped up the video here by a thousand times, uh, so it copied over pretty quick. Uh, once it's done copying over, you'll get another message that looks like this. Basically, this is telling us that the firmware update process has started. Uh, it'll give you some descriptions uh, of what the aircraft will look like, what you can, you cannot do. I really prefer to just leave the aircraft as is. Don't touch it. Don't fits around with it. Um, it does show the, the status indicator there below. Um, you can also open up the DJI Assistant application, and then you can see a, uh, the DJI Assistant actually progress along as well. Um, this tool does a, a pretty darn good job, to be honest, of showing the, the status indicator, the progress. I really like how it's got the, the, the countdown timer. Uh, when we first started doing this, I would bring up a stopwatch, um, and I would just make sure I would time it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Assistant. Um, go ahead and Open that up. Uh, you'll see in the background the upgrade is actually going. If you log in, you can see the percentage. So I'm just going to go ahead and log into my DJI account here really quick. Uh, don't mind me. I'm going to block out my, uh, my login information. Um, we'll go ahead and log in there. And then once I'm successfully signed in, you'll see the, the update screen here. Um, this is currently at 24%. It actually, uh, it took me a couple minutes to log in there. I couldn't remember my password and then the, uh, the captcha was getting me. So it should start out about eight or 9% if you get in there soon enough. Um, but in this case, it got me in at, at 24%. Um, this will progress along to get from, you know, zero to hundred percent, uh, probably eight, 10, 12 minutes, uh, is, is what I usually experience. I think 10 or 12 minutes is probably, uh, on average for the Maverick, at least a lot, uh, more common. Um, and so if you want, you know, grab a cup of coffee, uh, during this time, the, the aircraft will reboot, the fan will come on and off, the gimbal, the camera might move, make some sounds. It's all very, very normal, you guys. Uh, just give it a couple seconds and, um, you know, just let it kind of finish its thing. Again, don't power off the aircraft. Um, I prefer not to, to turn it off either or to unplug it. Just let it go. Uh, during this whole process, you also want to make sure you have the RC completely turned off. You want to keep that off, make sure it's turned off. Um, but otherwise, the, the update process here should go pretty seamless, pretty straightforward. Um, it should be relatively quick. Uh, about 10 minutes really isn't too bad. Uh, one important note about uh, updating the, the aircraft is it does reset all your settings. Uh, so if you had made any other mods or if you had you know, changed anything, um, it, it might reset some of those back. So make sure you go through with uh, you know, a, a fine tooth comb and, and reset all your settings within DJI Go and just make sure everything is copacetic and uh, everything is to you. 
we can see here I'm on 99%. If you look in the top right corner, uh, it said that the disc uh, ejected improperly. Uh, this is basically at a, a step where it does the final reboot of the aircraft, so just be patient here. Uh, it should move on from 99 to 100% in just a minute. We're just waiting for the Mavic to, uh, in my case the Mavic here, to fully reboot and come back up, uh, and then it should, it should show 100%. And then after it shows 100%, we should see that the, the firmware is then on the, the 700, is what I picked, uh, basically indicating that we're done. It looks as though the, uh, the update is finished. You'll also see the Drone Z-Brake tool uh, down in the, uh, the, the bar there on the bottom is bouncing, uh, so it's got something to tell us uh, that the, the update is done. So it's got great messaging as well. Go ahead and click OK there. Uh, if you want to, you can do the remote controller or your goggles. I don't really need to. So I'm just gonna close this, go ahead and close that. You'll see that firmware is the right version and you're good to go. All right guys, happy flying. Take care, bye.